Warning, this video will have the warning at the start of the video removed because so often it causes demonetization. For some peculiar reason, these warnings trigger those who do manual review for YouTube and never ever do they tell you why a video fails manual review. So that's why this warning has been removed. I cannot believe this. Uh, lightning has struck twice for me with an out of season cicada. It's Friday the 27th of April. Okay, in Australia we are just starting to get the cooler weather. We've had a very long hot summer. There is a cicada shell there and I can only assume that the cicada uh, from that shell there is there. It's still alive but sadly it's wing. Oh man, it has not formed properly. Totally out of season cicada. There are no other cicadas around. And this is the second time that I've noticed this going on. It's quite sad because uh, this cicada can't can't mate with anything. It's uh, if a bird sees this, it's going to be history. Really, really weird to see. Now, what has me spooked here? This is actually the same spot where I found that other out of season cicada. I remember the cat was playing with it at night. We drove home and the cat was playing with something. So. That just got me really thinking, what is going on here? If I look over this side, actually, uh, actually that there uh, may well be the cicada hole. I'm not a rocket scientist, um, but I can tell you what, that looks like a very, very fresh uh, cicada hole. That's where they come up out of the ground after being underground for many, many, many years. Well, I should put something highly educational in this video or else I'm going to get roasted and toasted. Uh, the cicada shell here is uh, basically what they look like as nymphs underground. Uh, the cicada cycle this type is seven years. Cicadas uh, seem to be bound by prime numbers, which I'm not sure whether the mystery behind it has been fully revealed. And what they do underground uh, is also, I believe, still a total mystery, exactly what their purpose is. But the nymph uh, grows up from a small nymph that gets born into a tree, and then they come out of the ground, and that's the hole there. And uh, hopefully there's no spider down there, but there won't be because it was a cicada, cicada hole. And then they go and find somewhere to basically break out of there, pump up their wings, and they'll have a couple of weeks of life as an adult. Uh, but the cicada shells, like at the moment, all the ones from the last season are basically all gone. Um, yeah, quite curious, isn't it? But that's uh, the nymph shell. Crunchy, isn't it? I know some people say I do stunts and tricks and... Um, Maybe tell little fibs, but hey, what's the date of today? It's the 27th Can you April. show me on your phone here? You've just been playing Fortnite, haven't you? It's the school holidays. There we go. April 27. Now, if I bring this to you, what do you think about that? Whoa! Um, I'm good, thanks, Dad. That's a bit what's late. What's unusual about that? It's a bit late. No, early. Well, which way is it? Is it late or early? Both. Midterm. <laughs> they come on, you know, cicadas. So, it, when was the other time that I found one? Do you remember? No. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's now the second out-of-season cicada I've come across. Are you amazed by that? No. Oh, thank you very much for your help. Okay. But thanks for showing me the date. Alright. Maybe another way to show you the date uh, without embarrassing family members. Sydney Morning Herald and we go down here just uh, near where Mrs. Cicada is. Friday, April 27, 2018. Well, she's one mixed up little girl. Uh, that's a cicada I'm talking about, not my daughter. I uh, embarrassed my daughter there, didn't I? Uh, but I wanted to prove something and show you that uh, this cicada is totally out of season for the Southern Hemisphere in Australia. Uh, this cicada can't breed on because, well, there's no mates to breed with. Uh, because it's malformed, uh, it really hasn't got much of a life left in it. Um, tricky to know what to do uh, with a little thing like this. I guess they could put her up in a tree and um, maybe she'll feed on some sap. Uh, and hopefully a bird won't find her and pick her off, as birds do. Well this here is underneath a tree and I did a cicada rescue thing here where I unearthed some cicada nymphs and I buried them here again and I noticed strangely there's actually a hole there, so whether or not the cicada came out of that in this last season that we had, which was months ago, I'll put Mrs. Cicada here and uh, I'm not sure whether she knows what to do or or whatever but um, it's quite sad to see. She doesn't really have a cicada sense as I don't think um, she may just become food for the ants uh, on that tree there. Maybe there are some cicada people that uh, watch my cicada videos and they can tell me 
what's going on when you see out of season cicadas you know this is uh just let me do some quick maths this is about five months out of season i think uh the other cicada was pushing on nearly six months out of season very very unusual in my books and uh rarely seen that's what i'm saying i'm you know that you don't see this every day and there's really uh not that much i can do uh, for her uh she's a victim of uh very poor timing i just hope i've got enough educational content in this so i'm not demonetized you know as a couple of weeks back was the youtube shooter and uh the demonetization process is uh, spiraling in this uh, very, very strange direction as I'm making this video. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it uh, in a future video. I've got a few things to say about what's going on. Maybe I can give her a name or maybe my audience can give uh, this girl a name. I'm going to call her Twisted, as in Twisted Sister. Just before we go, and I think it's very important to uh, point out, and I'm sort of curious about dates and everything here, that was last year's uh, late blooming cicada. That's Bluebell the cat, which is now our cat. Uh, playing with the cicada there, the same area there. If I bring up the calendar, okay, so there's today's date. Now, the last year's cicada was literally within days. It was down here, uh, basically May 1 last year. And to count back the months here, how out of sync the cicada is, one month there, two, three, four, five... And you could really maybe push it to six months because in Australia you will start to see cicadas around November, but mainly I'd sort of say December is their prime time. I'm just doing a very old cheapo off the screen here, my phone of uh, last year's. It was a girl as well. I'm just double checking. Wow, uh, it was a girl, same style cicada, red eye, a black cicada. It's really peculiar, so maybe there was something going wrong with that brood of cicadas that are a little bit mixed up. Like, I'm hoping it's a cicada expert will uh, explain it all to me. Yes, yeah, so I remember clearly thinking uh, when this happened last year, I thought, wow, what a freakish one-off event. Well, maybe it's not as freakish and one-offish uh, as I originally thought. I know there'll be lots of people who watch my channel, they'll be asking Leo what's going on with the demonetization issue that's been hammering tons of producers on YouTube. I'll call it like this, it's like two steps backwards, one step forward. I'm now getting videos that had failed manual review and now being monetized again. There's quite a number of other videos that I'm still fighting to get back and in fact I might do a demonetization why video, as in questioning why, in relation to one of my dark side videos now i stopped producing the dark side videos because there's a lot of effort and time needed to make one of those videos and the risk reward factor to these videos if they get demonetized it isn't even worth going there because in the end you may even struggle to earn let's say 10 cents a month or maybe 10 cents a year i'm hearing from some people some astonishingly low incomes via youtube red and the one thing that I do notice across everything that gets demonetized is they get neatly hidden away where they can't be found on the YouTube related searches and related lists. It's very neat and tidy the way they hide content. Yes, sure, YouTube needed a clear out. It was uh, well overdue. This happens every couple of years, but this last clear out that I've seen going on, they've selected the wrong broom for the job it's like a big sweep out and this last clear out has used a broom that is way too big and way too brutal that's the way i'm calling it maybe my audience has a little bit more to say about what they've seen going on with other people they watch on youtube